Great, good morning and welcome back to this tutorial series on Fix API for Algorithmic Trading. And so far in these tutorials, we've covered uh, basics as to what the Fix protocol is, uh, how it's used in terms of pricing and trading contexts, and particularly with trading, what additional requirements and dependencies there are, such as using SSL tunneling to establish a trading connection via SSL to the Darwin X Fix servers. In this next round of videos, we're going to be covering QuickFix as the engine that we'll be using for establishing uh, pricing and trading connections to the Darwin X uh, Fix server. And we'll also be studying in detail what the application structure and configuration uh, is behind any QuickFix implementation. For this, we'll go through a series of tutorials here, five in total, where first we'll introduce what the QuickFix engine is. Um, we'll go through variable definitions, we'll go through fixed session configuration, the fixed application interface, and finally we'll go through some example code on how to go about implementing everything in your algorithmic trading solutions. So let's begin with QuickFix, the various programming languages that it is available in, what it is, and how we go about acquiring it. So firstly, let's go to quickfixengine.org, which is the official site for the fixed protocol implementation, QuickFix, and here you'll see some options as well as some links to documentation, source code, as well as other resources. The Quick Fix implementation is currently provided in C++, Python, Ruby, Java, C-sharp.net, Go, and other languages where portability has been established between the original project and additional bindings that have been developed by the Fix Protocol community. For our purposes, we'll be using Python, but that will be the subject of future tutorials where we actually go into source code and start writing out our implementation. And all of that code will, of course, be open source and published on our GitHub repository as usual. But for now, let's go through what QuickFix is, uh, how we go about setting it up in terms of configuration that an application developer or an algorithmic trader needs, uh, how to go structuring your application, and what are the methods that we need to implement uh, in order to correctly establish a fixed connection to Darwin X fixed servers. Let's now head over to the documentation to take a quick look at what we'll need. Uh, for installation, we'll need to head into dependencies. And if you're running a Windows system, then you'll need, if you're building from source, uh, you'll need Microsoft Visual C++. On Linux systems, you'll need glibc and the GCC or GCC C++ compiler, along with its dependencies, glibc devil, gnu make, and sstream. If you're running Solaris systems, again, you'll need to have glibc, gcc or sunpro, gcc C++, glibc devil, make, and sstream. And on Mac OS X, you'll need Xcode tools. There are some optional dependencies. These include MySQL, MSSQL, Postgres, PostgreSQL, STL port. We'll skip over these for now. Let's now head over to building and what we need in particular to go through the build. Now, you can get all the information here per operating system and per method of building yourself the library. For our purposes, as we'll be using Python for this implementation, we'll need to head over to PyPy and the QuickFix project, where we'll download the QuickFix 1.1. 5.1 uh, module via pip install quick fix. Again, this will be the subject of a future tutorial where we go through the download, installation, configuration, and writing of source code sequentially. But for now, this is the source of our quick fix library when we get around to using it. There are some additional uh, unofficial Windows binaries for Windows users. Uh, for these Python extension packages, and you can find them on lft.uci.edu. They're maintained by Christoph Kolk of the Laboratory for Fluorescence Dynamics at the University of California, Irvine. And here you'll find QuickFix Python wheel archives available to you as well, uh, various versions depending on your version of Python and your operating system architecture. So here, for example, if you're using Python 3.7, you'll need to locate the CP37 variant uh, of QuickFix that's available to you, and then you'll need to match it with your system architecture. If you're running a 32-bit OS, you'll need to select the Win32. And if you're running the 64-bit variant of Windows, then you'll need to select Win AMD64. So these are the two or three sources of actually acquiring QuickFix in order to begin application development. For our purposes, we'll keep it really simple and we'll install via QuickFix. If you do run into issues uh, while installing via pip, then it's recommended that you go into download files, download the quick fix source archive, and then compile it from source. And we'll shoot a separate tutorial on doing exactly that, dedicated to installing quick fix via source. 
So that's it for the introduction to QuickFix. It is a fix protocol implementation that allows you to create applications via which you can connect to a fix server and transact via the fix protocol. In the next tutorial, we'll be going through some important variable definitions that are required in order to set up a QuickFix application correctly. As always, if you enjoyed this presentation, please do consider sharing it with your social networks, colleagues, co-workers and friends. And do subscribe to the DarwinX YouTube channel so you remain up to date with all future videos that will be released in this series and other topics discussed on DarwinX. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.